Here we're asked to find the product of two matrices. The first step is to see if the product is possible. In order to multiply two matrices, the number of columns in the first matrix must be equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. So for this example, we have a two by two matrix times a two by two matrix. So to determine if the product is possible, we want to focus on these two values here. Again, the number of columns in the first matrix must equal the number of rows in the second matrix, which in this case is true. And the remaining values, or the number of rows in the first matrix and the number of columns in the second matrix, indicate the dimensions of the product. So the product of these two matrices will be another two by two matrix. Let's go ahead and set this up below. Again, we know this product is possible, and the product will be a two by two matrix. And now to find the elements in this product, we always multiply rows from the first matrix and columns from the second matrix. So to determine the element in row one, column one, or a sub one, comma one, we multiply row one from the first matrix and column one from the second matrix. So again, we'll have this row times this column. To multiply a row and a column, we find the sum of the products of the first elements, second elements, third elements, and so on. Or in this case, we find the sum of the product of the first elements and the second elements. So a sub one comma one is equal to negative four times negative two plus negative three times four. So here we have positive eight plus negative twelve, which equals negative four. So the element in row one, column one of the product is negative four. And now let's find the element in row one, column two, which is a sub one, comma two. Which means we'll multiply row one from the first matrix and column two from the second matrix. So row one from the first matrix, column two from the second matrix. So the result would be negative four times three plus negative three times one, which is equal to negative twelve plus negative three, which equals negative fifteen. And now let's find the element in row two, column one. For a sub two comma one, we'll multiply row two from the first matrix and column one from the second matrix. Again, row two from the first matrix and column one from the second matrix. So we'll have negative two times negative two plus negative two times four, which is equal to positive four plus negative eight, which equals negative four. And the last element is in row two, column two. So to find the element in row two, column two, we multiply row two from the first matrix and column two from the second matrix. Again, we multiply row two from the first matrix and column two from the second matrix. So a sub two comma two is equal to negative two times three plus negative two times one, which equals negative six plus negative two, which equals negative eight. This is the product of the two matrices. I hope you found this helpful.